वेलकम टू मेडिकल रेडियोग्राफी एग्जाम इंडिया फर्स्ट रेडियोलॉजी वेबसाइट फॉर मोर अबाउट अस सर्च ऑन गूगल मेड रेडियो एग्जाम प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर आर वीडियो सब्सक्राइब आर चैनल इमेज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स इन रेडियोलॉजी इमेज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स इन रेडियोलॉजी आर इंपॉर्टेंट टू कंसिडर वेन इवैल्यूएटिंग अ रेडियोलॉजिकल इमेज इमेज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स इन रेडियोलॉजी कैन इंक्लूड द क्लैरिटी ऑफ द इमेज द कॉन्ट्रास्ट ऑफ द इमेज द ब्राइटनेस ऑफ द इमेज द नॉइज इन द इमेज द साइज ऑफ द रेडियोग्राफिक इमेज द स्पाइटल रेजोल्यूशन ऑफ द इमेज द डायनामिक रेंज ऑफ द इमेज the snr signal to noise ratio of the image the artifacts of the image each of these characteristics affects the way that radiologists interpret the image clarity and contrast refers to the difference in brightness between two objects such as a tumor and the surrounding tissue brightness is the overall level of light in the image and can be adjusted to make the image easier to view while noise and resolution of the image can help to differentiate between healthy and abnormal tissue noise is the random variation in the image that can make it difficult to interpret the size of the image and the dynamic range of the image can also help to identify certain areas such as a tumor or other abnormality understanding the different image characteristics in radiology can help radiologists to interpret images accurately and make the correct diagnosis the contrast of image the density difference between adjacent areas on a plane radiograph is known as radiographic contrast in radiographs where density variations are clearly discernible high radiographic contrast is seen black to white when there is little density difference between neighboring areas radiographic pictures will have low radiographic contrast black to gray factor affect radiographic contrast the radiographic contrast depends on the following three factors subject contrast receptor contrast scattered radiation subject contrast subject contrast is the term used to describe the variation in intensity sent across various portions of an item for instance enamel will attenuate x-rays more than dentin in an intraoral radiograph affected factors for subject contrast include first thickness difference second density difference third atomic number disparity fourth the kvp or radiation quality thickness difference the thicker component of a material will attenuate more x rays than the thinner part when to varied thicknesses of the same material attenuate an x ray beam density difference mass per unit volume is another name for the density difference it is the most important element influencing subject contrast More x-rays will be attenuated by a material with a higher density than one with a lower density. Atomic number disparity. Materials with higher atomic numbers attenuate x-rays more effectively than those with lower atomic numbers. The KVP or radiation quality. The technical aspects of the radiographs obtained determine the radiographic contrast. higher contrast will arise from a more significant difference in attenuation between the various regions of the topic as a consequence the main beam's energy will depend on the kilovoltage kv used for the radiography examination more energy results in greater penetrating power a primary beam with a higher kv penetrates all tissues more thoroughly overall reduces attenuation differences which results in a radiograph with less contrast in order to produce a more consistently dense image and make it easier to see the marks on the lungs the high kv method of the chest x-ray is used in essence a 15% increase in kv corresponds to a density increase of around twice the ma square receptor contrast 
it describes the capacity of a receptor to sufficiently display the data that photons delivered through the subject. In traditional radiography, the contrast is influenced by the size of the grains, the length of time that they are allowed to develop, the temperature and concentration of the developing solution, and the total film density. We won't go into depth about these variables because standard film isn't used very often. Contrast in digital imaging is influenced by the receptor's bit depth. The number of potential gray values recorded in a picture is referred to as the bit depth. The number of gray values that may be shown increases with bit depth. Black and white are the only colors that a one-bit picture can display. Zero, white, and one are the only values that a one-bit can hold, black. An eight-bit picture can hold an eight-bit image can store 256 possible gray values, while a 12-bit image can display 4096 gray values. Scattered radiation. Scattered radiation will increase image noise and lower contrast in a radiographic picture among other factors that affect radiographic contrast. Radiographic collimation can increase radiographic contrast and lessen dispersed radiation. Comparison between contrast scale. One cannot just draw conclusions based on a tiny region of interest since radiographs contain different regions of density. This explains why a radiography image's overall contrast is referred to as long scale or short scale. Short scale contrast. Short scale radiographs are referred to as having excellent contrast, meaning that while there are larger density variations overall, there are fewer density steps, lesser shades of gray. Long scale contrast. Long scale radiographs are referred to as having reduced contrast, meaning that while there are more shades of gray present, density variations are less obvious. When inspecting the lung fields, long scale radiographs are favored because they can capture minor variations in density that are important for a diagnosis. The brightness of the image. The brightness of a presented image is the harmony of light and dark tones. Images with high brightness settings, also known as density or intensity settings, are bright, while those with low brightness settings are dark. The number of displayed gray levels is determined by the contrast, while the intensity is determined by the density. The noise in the image. The fluctuations in a picture that are random or structured but do not match the variations in an object's X-ray attenuation are known as radiographic noise. The noise power spectrum is the most accurate noise metric for determining the noise's spatial frequency content. The amount of X-ray quanta required to create the image defines the quantum noise, which is mostly to blame for image noise. The most effective technique to lessen quantum noise is to manage exposure parameters. The spital resolution of the image. The imaging system's spatial resolution is its capacity to tell nearby structures apart from one another. To get an objective measurement of spatial resolution in terms of line pairs per millimeter, a bar pattern with alternating radiodense bars and radiolucent voids of equal width can be photographed. The transfer of signal amplitude at various spatial frequencies from the object to the picture yields the modulation transfer function, MTF, an objective gauge of spatial resolution. The most accurate technique to gauge spatial resolution is via MTF. Magnification, X-ray focal spot size, Detector resolution, patient mobility, and image processing are some of the elements that determine spatial resolution. For digital radiography, a limiting system spatial resolution of 2.5 mm or greater is required. The dispersion of the CR systems. The dynamic range of the image. The ratio between an image's brightest and darkest areas from pure black to brightest white is referred to as dynamic range. 
The dynamic range is the range of different X-ray intensity that the detector is capable of imaging. To produce high-quality digital radiographs, radiographic detectors that offer strong contrast across a wide dynamic range are necessary. Viewers can see the range of various apparent intensities because detectors with large dynamic range will display extremely low or very high exposure values in a picture. The extreme exposure intensities would seem to white or to black with little obvious contrast, despite the fact that narrow latitude photos display more visible contrast. The size of the radiographic image. It is determined by the size of the part to be radiographed and the distance from the source of radiation to the imaging device. Factors such as the type of radiation used, the size of the radiation source, and the imaging device itself also play a role in determining the size of the radiographic image. SNR, Signal to Noise Ratio SNR, or Signal to Noise Ratio, is a crucial measurement that includes the impacts of noise, contrast, and resolution. The better the image quality, the higher the signal and lower the noise. The identification of tiny and lower contrast structures is made possible by images with high SNR. The greatest way to gauge how well an imaging system transfers signal-to-noise ratio SNR is using detective quantum efficiency DQE. With increased SNR, human detecting capacity increases. The relationship between DQE and the necessary radiation exposure is inverse. Artifacts Other than low resolution, noise, and SNR, artifacts also result from low resolution, noise, and SNR. Uneven magnification, an uneven image caused by detector issues, supple detector components, aliasing, and inappropriate grid use are a few of them. Thank you for watching. Medical Radiography Exam, Medical Radiography Exam family wishes you and your family happiness and prosperity and healthy life.